Hello everyone and welcome to the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the third week of October. To lead us off, Cacao Makers runs upcycling project. Cacao Makers, Cacao's impact commerce brand, announced that it had donated 20,000 pairs of upcycled socks for underprivileged children to the Green Umbrella Children's Foundation through an upcycling project. The upcycling project is a new type of eco-friendly activity that recycles used items, turning them into new products and utilizing them for good purposes. This project recruited participants in February and went on for about eight months with activities including collecting t-shirts, sorting, yarn making, and production. A total of 2,000 users participated and donated 8,600 used t-shirts. Cacao makers made a total of 24,000 pairs of recycled socks by making them from yarn. Of these, 20,000 pairs were donated to the Green Umbrella Children's Foundation and distributed to 116 children's institutions across the country. The remaining 4,000 pairs will go back to the project participants who donated their t-shirts. Next up, Naver D2 Startup Factory makes another investment into NFT Bank, a startup that helps with NFT asset management. NFT Bank has developed a platform to evaluate and manage NFT assets. It is a platform that analyzes the value of NFT assets based on various data, such as user propensity, NFT transaction status, and market trends to help with NFT financial decisions. In particular, through its own algorithm, it provides detailed asset evaluation information such as the NFT's current value, lowest price, and return on investment. NFT financial services such as providing loan services with NFT as collateral or renting the NFT itself have recently emerged in the market, says Yang Sanghuan, leader of Naver D2SF. He also added NFT Bank is a team that developed an asset value platform that is the basis of NFT finance and expects to grow further on the global stage. For our third main story, DWG Kia advances to global championship after winning the PUBG Mobile Rivals Cup 2022 Korea vs Japan match. Crafton successfully wraps up Season 4 of the PUPG Mobile Pro Series 2022, or PMPS 2022. PMPS 2022 Season 4 is the second competition of the league in the second half of the year, and a total of 16 teams competed for a 25 million won prize and the right to advance to the PUGB Mobile Global Championship, or PMGC, the top-tier international competition. This season, a total of 30 matches were held for six days over three weeks from September 23rd to October 8th. And DWG Kia won the championship with a total of seven chicken dinners and 428 points. And for our final main story, Cacao Enterprise comes out on top in the Global English Machine Reading Comprehension Competition. Cacao Enterprise took down AI powerhouses from countries such as the Europe, and China at the Global English Reading Comprehension Competition, taking the top spots. This model is an enhanced version of the existing model named Little Bird, which topped the list at the Core Quad. This is tailored for the generative model. It is noteworthy that other companies introduced larger models to boast high performance, but Cacao Enterprise beat others with a lightweight model with optimized speed. The company's lightweight model can be utilized for actual services better than its larger counterparts. And it is cost effective, giving its compact size and high performances that was already proven on a global stage. And that wraps up our big news stories of the week. Speaking of which, last week a couple big name visitors came by the Pangyo Techno Valley PR Center, the very one we're filming in right now. Joe Kalinovic, Vice President of Enterprise Florida, a public-private partnership between Florida's business and government leaders, 
and Claudia Lopez Hernandez, mayor of Bogota, Colombia, stopped by to help build ties between Korea and their respective countries. And now it's time to move on to our news briefs of the week. First up, NeoWiz partners with Web3 Earth to establish Web3 Wallet. Web3 Earth provides a solution that enables easy access to digital wallets, thanks in large part to decentralization, which gets rid of the so-called seed phrase. Seed phrase is a group of random words to open or unlock a crypto wallet. Web3 Wallet, which utilizes Web3 Earth's solution, will be installed on the IntelliX wallet based on NeoWiz's blockchain game platform, IntelliX. Next up, new PvP game named Warhaven launches. Nexon started a global beta test of Warhaven, a new PvP game. This beta test will run from October 12th to November 2nd, and it is open to anyone who uses Steam. Ian Salk, director of Nexon, said, Warhaven is a game in which anyone can join a battlefield in the medieval era, and this is the first test that global users can enjoy together. Adding, I hope you will experience the thrilling battle and pleasure of a large-scale battle. And finally, We Made Connect's mobile game, Abyss Rium, makes a comeback after seven years of its release in Japan. We Made Connect announced that it is making remarkable achievements in the Japanese market with its mobile game, Abyss Rium. In the seventh year after its release in Japan, Abyss Rium has witnessed its popularity growing exponentially in the free App Store category in Japan from the 4th of this month, becoming the third most popular game on October 7th. The company sees this unexpected popularity as the most meaningful because the company's expertise and its know-how has finally been proven in the Japanese market. And that's it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigris, and I will see you next week.